Hi, this is Pete Nelson with another video blog. This one is called, When a Ripple Becomes a Tsunami. Note that despite my recent posts involving warnings, iceberg, garbage, and pain, and now this one, I like to think of myself as an optimist. So maybe I need to work in some sunshine and lollipops into my posts. Well, here we go. I occasionally get some time to post thoughts and questions on other forums, and there is a really interesting discussion on LinkedIn in the MES Manufacturing Executions Group called Linking MES and Factory Scheduling in Real Time. Although I started the discussion, there are numerous other industry experts that offered their thoughts. If you're interested, I would encourage you to join that particular group, just as I will encourage those members to consider posting in a more public area, such as factoryscheduling.com. One of the most sensitive points on this discussion centered around the idea of real-time updates. There were views that too many updates would cause too much disruption to plans, not only in the one manufacturing facility, but across the entire supply chain. This discussion also involved ideas that disruptions do not necessarily arise from how often plans are updated, but depend on the magnitude of the change. Many more interesting views were shared and debated. I think a logical question is, how does a company understand the impact of a change unless that change is actually applied in some way to the existing plan and analyzed? How do you know that a small ripple will pass or will it turn into a huge tidal wave without looking at all of the downstream workload and constraints? This question was raised in a different form in the discussion and I also feel that defining what is a so-called big problem versus a small problem without actually replanning in some way is likely to be misleading in environments where you have a lot of products and or alternate resources where you have a lot of variation. It wasn't explicitly stated but I think there is an undercurrent that the main element to consider is communication. Who gets this new information and when do they get it? I'm of the opinion that data collected from production should update the current plan basically immediately. This gives the planner, whether that's a software system or as human managers, the visibility needed to make that right decision. Armed with this new knowledge, the plan can be updated, and modern APS systems allow for unlimited what-if scenarios for comparison. They include automated algorithms that can create new plans in a matter of seconds, and some can even replan based on event triggers or a schedule or a frequency of their own. Even many older systems do have a basic capability to keep some portion of the near-term schedule stable so that materials and resources can be staged appropriately or lock in specific production schedules. It's important that the planner has the ability and time to react. Care and time needs to be taken in most cases before a new plan is distributed internally or externally because that's where disruption really happens. To me, the issue is not with inbound data updating the plan. More consideration of the outbound updates reflecting the new conditions is needed, however. Finding the right balance between reacting and planning is a challenge, but I feel that systems should allow their users the freedom to decide for themselves what works for their business. Videos are a great way to start visualizing what can happen, and if you search on YouTube for real-time scheduling, I'm sure you'll find some thought-provoking materials. Now that I'm done with this post, I'm going to go out and enjoy the sunshine. I might even have a lollipop while I'm at it. There, I did it. Thanks for watching.